Hey YouTube, it's Glenn here from BJ's Bootables and today we have our new build. We have an absolute RGB galore mid-range gaming computer. It's going to be pretty solid. So I was hoping this was going to be the first stream build but YouTube's being screwy at the moment and didn't want to play the game with um, data and uploading and stuff. So instead of that, we're just going to move along and build the computer. So this one was a bit of a random one. I sold it on eBay. I'd had the listing up for quite a while. Um, so it was a bit of a scramble to get all the parts. It's a little bit random because it's like all RGB. It wasn't the most put together. It was kind of just a example advert for eBay um, but somebody bought it so we're building it for them and we're gonna make it really cool um, there's possibly some difficulties in getting all this RGB to work I'm not certain if it's all gonna communicate how it's all gonna communicate and where it's all gonna communicate uh -huh. But we're going to do our best to get it all up and running because, as I said, it wasn't 100% spec'd out to be um, fully a functioning computer. But I think everything is independent enough that we'll be able to get something that looks really cool. Um, so, we have a deep cool uh, Castle 240 RGB. We have a fairly simple but should be solid B450M um, gigabyte motherboard. Um, we're only putting a 2600X in at the moment, but this or 2600, but this one can also be upgraded to a um, 3000 series if need be. So yeah, we've got the Ryzen 2600. Uh, we've got the ADATA uh, 16 gig kit of 3000 megahertz um, Spectre uh, RGB RAM. Uh, we've got a 250 gig Western Digital um, M.2 with a 2 terabyte Western Digital Blue um, hard drive. We've got the Thermal Take. Uh, 600 watt smart RGB um, power supply so more RGB and then we have a MSI uh, GTX 1660 Super with twin frozer um, RGB so it's RGB 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 and RGB all there no RPG as um, we may run into some issues on how this all connects and then all of that is going inside a master box a cooler master master box Q300P so it's a micro ATX. So that's why we went with that one uh, with the, the smaller board and maybe where we run into some issues. This also has two RGB fans and a non RGB fan in it. So we're going to get that out. Um, so yeah, let's unbox everything we need to here and have a look-see at everything. So we get the shrink wrap stuff open first. So I haven't used this one before. So We 
we're gonna find out what it's all about. stuff fans in RGB and that motherboard may be a complete disaster. I'm honestly a little bit rushed during this one and we're going to find out whether he made a complete screw up. Nothing fancy in their packaging there, but it seems to have done the job. So it's nothing spectacular as a power supply. It's not modular, but it has all the bits we need. It's just roughly sleeved, and it should be quite a quiet one. And it's RGB, it just has a button. So I'm pretty certain it just is fairly self-sufficient on its RGB and just kind of does its own thing and should just be pretty quiet. and that's all supposed to glow like a crazy beast so that should be interesting boring old M.2 card it's nothing spectacular but it's just solid reliable we'll get good solid speed and we'll just do the job as needed as a system drive with the two terabyte storage behind it should get through most days and there's our Ryzen 2600 Cooler that's obsolete. And this is in the collection of AMD coolers. Now let's have a look at our main piece of kit that makes everything happy and that gives us all our frames. Nice. 
similar teaching that has a cartoon on how to overclock. Cool. to game on. Actually be quite interested to see because I'm due with myself for a graphics up upgrade and I'd be interested to see how this goes because I'm pretty happy with what I have now and the price points aren't there for an upgrade for me just yet but it's close. So Nothing crazy, nothing high end, but it should get the job done. And hopefully it connects up with enough RGB. We'll hopefully get it all in. I'm pretty certain it doesn't have a huge amount of fan headers. So we've got our documentation and disk, but I've already downloaded all the latest drivers and everything for it, so we don't really need any of that. But yeah, just a solid gigabyte. have everything in our little bags and now I suppose we should have a look at the case handles and it can go in multiple orientations as a lay flat stand up and the um, IO panel can move around to accommodate different positions. So 
the bottom is there, it's all dust filter. Looks like it's pinned in with little things. A rubber, grow uh, rubber. to the acrylic panel. That's not as good. I don't know, I guess I think when you've got it in that orientation, it's just gonna pull through there. I don't think you're supposed to put a fan at the bottom, but I mean, I'm sure you could <laughs> if you needed to. So, yeah, I can go in that way, and the IO moves around into different positions, I believe. <coughs> Depending on how you want it, I think you can go there. There's some cutouty bit at the top behind that bit. So I imagine it can go up there. I don't know if said multiple ones, but we'll work that out. So yeah, there's no ventilation at the front, but the rest of it is basically all just ventilation. Whilst that's sort of capped off, there is exhaust out there and it's kind of a brute force cooling case where we're going to have the 240 mil in there with the fans like basically a push pull arrangement with those two and then the other two just kind of brute forcing through it so I think that should do fine and then this one venting for basically the uh, graphics card heat and general so I think that will do okay and yeah so Cooler Master Q300P quite solid I mean the side panel's nothing special um, thin but 
goes on with four, four thumb screws and is secure. Um, in the back has um, room, we're going to have the, the hard drive and there's space for another two SSD drives which we're not populating but we can put them in there. Um, so yeah, I guess that's unboxing of everything and it all looks good and I think it's going to come together with some RGB um, craziness. So we'll take a pause there and then we'll start pulling the case part and getting uh, the test set up. We'll, te bench, blah, blah. we'll bench test all of this stuff on our new test bench. So yeah, 